Hello, friends. So today what we're going to do, we're still on our data structures grind. Uh, in the last video, we did overviews for uh, tree data structures, and then we did an overview for binary search trees specifically. So now what we need to do is start coding out some binary search trees, because that's going to be the main uh, subgroup of trees that we're going to work with. Basically, right now we're in the middle, I want to say this before we get going, we're in the middle of a playlist called Basic Programmatic Skills Playlist where we go over everything from big O notation into data structures, then into algorithms, recursion, things like that. So if you come to this video by itself, it's just part of a larger playlist. If there's some things in here that you don't understand, just go to the playlist on my channel, Basic Programmatic Skills, find the section because they're all broken up into sections of, uh, of what you might not understand and uh, check it out. So what we're gonna do today is code out some binary search trees. Now in the last video, we talked about the advantage of using binary search trees or just uh, binary trees in general. Um, and that was that you can have, uh, you can get that O of log in time complexity for inserting, uh, looking up, deleting. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start coding it out. It'll follow a lot of the same principles that we did when we were doing linked lists uh, in terms of we'll have like a node class and then we'll have a binary search tree class and then we'll have methods within that class. So as I code through, uh, I'll explain as we go. So first of all, let's get a class of node going. So we want a node class and this will be very familiar. You'll just go constructor right here, and we're going to pass in a little bit of data. So with our node, just like in our last, uh, like in our linked list videos, it will have a couple of properties on it. One will be this.data, and that's just going to equal the data that's passed in. This is going to have a left and a right, though. So this.left is going to equal null, and this.right is going to equal null. So if you remember back to our linked list videos, it was this.next. So it was next instead of left and right. So here we're going to have left and right values on every node that we create. So we'll go const node equals new node just to test it out. And we'll console.log that new node. Node. Whoop. Uh, control tilde to open up our integrated terminal, run that file, and you can see that we get a data of undefined because we didn't pass any data. Let's pass in test. And you can see that this will work. Boom. All right, so we can create nodes, no problem. So now that we can create nodes, we need to make a class for binary search tree. So I'll just call it BSTs because I don't feel like typing all that out. So our BST class it's going to have a constructor because every every class in JavaScript, when you're creating it, it's like an initialized method. It needs a constructor to tell you how to actually make the blueprint of the uh, of the object that you're making. So with this one, instead of having a like, if you think back to our linked list class, we had links and things like that. We had different things that would be uh, on our constructor as we go. With this one, the main thing that we want is a root node. So we'll go this dot root equals null right now. So starting out, the root node is going to equal null, and that's all we'll give it right now. So in this video, what we want to do is write out our insert method, and we're going to end up writing out our lookup, not in this video, but in another video, and then we'll end up uh, finally doing a uh, delete or remove. We'll just call it remove. Now this remove is a little bit uh, tricky. Tricky. So we're gonna have to devote its own video to this one. Uh, lookup will be next video, and then insert will be this video. Okay, so let's say, let's get rid of this integrated terminal right here. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to insert. So basically, this, the first time that you're doing it, I would suggest that you pause the video right now and try to figure it out, especially if you've been following along with our playlist because by this point you I won't necessarily like in a job interview you're never gonna have to well for the most part you're never gonna have to code out a whole binary search tree from scratch but it is good to know how to do it it's good to know the underlying principles of it one of the th problems that you run into with an insert method is if you think about it conceptually if let's say that we have a root node and let's say that that root node is 20 and then let's say that we're trying to insert a node of 30 now, from our last videos, we know that in binary search trees, if the value of the node that we're trying to insert is larger than the current node, which would be the root node in this case, it will go to the right. So the root node dot right should equal 
that new node that we're passing in because it's larger in value than the root node. But the question that you might have to ask yourself and something that you might come up with is you're like, well, I don't know how many times I'm going to be like looping down. Like, I don't know when to stop moving to the right. And that is, in my estimation, one of the more nuanced parts of this method that we're going to build. It's like, well, how do I know how far to the right I'm going to go? There could be 10,000 nodes to the right. So how do I know how to traverse all the way to the end of the right node? to make sure that there's a uh, space there for me to insert it. So if you want to pause the video right now and try to figure out how to do that, cool. If not, your boy got you covered. So let's do it like this. We're going to say insert, and when we insert, we're going to want to have some data in there. So the first thing we want to do is we'll make a node. So we're going to want to make a node that we're going to try to insert. So we'll go const node equals new node with the data passed in. Okay, so we make an instance of a node. So we got that. So the first thing we want to do is check to see if there is a root node. So we'll go if, and a way that you, you can write it one of two ways. You can go if this dot root is equal to null, or, which is the way that I like to write it, you can go if not this dot root, meaning if there isn't a root node and or the root node is equal to null. Because null just basically acts like, hey, there's nothing here. It's null value. So if not this dot root, so if there isn't a root, then what we want to do is just set this dot root equal to the node, the new node that we created. Simple enough, right? So basically it's just a check right off the top and say, hey, if there ain't a root node here, let's make this node that we're trying to insert the root node. Now, normally that's not going to be the case, but it's good to have that as a test. So then we have, if we have the il, if we have the if, we're going to have the else right here. So we'll say else. So if there is a root node, we want to do some stuff. The first thing we can do is let and we use let here instead of const because we are going to be changing the value of this. This is very similar to a lot of the stuff that we did in the linked list stuff in terms of traversing. We'll go let current because this will, we're going to want to put a marker on our current node where we're at as we're traversing through. We'll go let current equal this.head, or this.root rather, because we know there is a root because we just checked right here to see if there is a root. So we'll say let current equal this.root. Now this is where we want to get into our little the little bit more nuanced part of it. So basically, once you have a root node, you don't know how far to the left or right, you don't know how long you're going to have to traverse for. So in order to get around this, there's a little a trick. It's basically like a little trick that you got to know. So using while loops is very powerful when you're iterating or traversing through a data structure because you can always have return statements within your if-else statements nested within the while loop to break out of it. So we can just go right here, we can just say while true, because it's always going to return true until we return out of it. So we'll say while true, what we want to do, we want to check the current node. We want to say, hey, is there, we want to check the value that's passed in this data right here. We want to check it compared to the value of the current node that we're on. And we set current equal to root in this instance, right? So we'll say if, so while it's true, we want to check so if data, and that means the data that's passed in right here, you could also say node.data because we, can, we made a node out of it, but it's more succinct to just put data. So we'll say if data is less than current.data. So if it's less than that, and remember with binary search trees, if the data is less than the current data, we want to put it on the left. We'll say if data is less than current.data, then we'll do another if statement. If current, if not, I'm sorry, if not current dot left, so if there isn't anything to the left, meaning if to the left, uh, if the current node that we're on, if it has a null value at left, which left and right are initialized for every node at null, so if on our current node, if there isn't a left, then we want to say current dot left is going to equal the node that we created up top, and we want to return this. Now this return this will break us out of this while true loop, okay? So then we'll go else right here. So if there is something to the left of the current node that we're at, then we want to just set left equals, wait, sorry, current. We want to move current to equal current dot left. Very, very similar to the way that we were traversing in our linked list class, right? So basically right here on this, we're checking. So we're saying if the data is less than the current node that we're on's dot data, which means we're supposed to move it to the left. So then we move left 
it will say if there isn't anything to the left of this current of the current node that we're on, then we want to put to the left of it the node that we created and return true, which will break us out of this while loop. Otherwise, meaning if there is something to the left of it already, well then we would just want to move our current node, so current is going to equal current.left, and that will traverse us to the left, and then it will keep running this because it's going to keep returning true because we don't have a return statement anywhere. Okay, so that's if the current, if that, that's if the data is less than current.data. That's, that's the if. So here we'll have the else for that. This means if the data is greater than or equal to the current dot data. So with equal to, greater than or equal to, you can you can decide what you want to do with equal to. That's not necessarily important because in our for our instances of creating this list, everything's going to be uh, greater than in the way that we're going to do it. And this is just for educational purposes. So basically, ostensibly, this is just saying if if it's greater than, but it is technically greater than or equal to right here in this else statement. So else, that means if the data is greater than or equal to the current dot data, we want to move right. All right, so how do we do that? So we say, same thing, if not current dot right, so if there isn't anything to the right, then we want to set current dot right equal to the node. And we want to return, very important, we want to return this, which will break us out of that, uh, of the while true loop on 21, on line 21. Else here, meaning if there is something to the right already, then we want to set current equal to current dot right and traverse to the right. Okay, so that's that's basically our insert method right there. So let's, how do we go about checking this? So let's go down here underneath all this stuff. Let's actually delete this right now. I can, I can put it back in later in the next video. But so we have an insert method for our BT, BST class, binary search tree class. So let's go right here. We'll go const BST equals, let's create a new BST, right? And we'll console log BST just to make sure it's working because we didn't do that earlier. Control tilde, open up the integrated terminal. Apple K to clear it. And then we'll go node trees. So right now our BST just has a root node of null. Okay, so now we want to insert into it. So we'll go bst.insert and let's insert 20 as our root node and then let's console log it. So you can see our BST now has a root node with data of 20, its left is null and its right is null. So what would happen if we tried to insert 30? This should go to the right, right? So we'll console log it again and you can see that our root node has a data of 20, its left is null and now it's right has a data of 30 and then that has a left and a right of, of null. So then let's insert something smaller. So we'll go bst.insert and from 20 we'll go down to 10. We'll say 10 right here. And now this should be to the left. So you can see our root node has data of 20. Uh, I'm sorry, it's down here. Our root node has a data of 20, a left of data 10 with a left and a right value of null and then a right right here with a value of 30. So now let's do, let's insert five. Now where should this go? This should go to the left of 10. So right here is where this should go. So let's uh, save it and we'll run it right here. And now you can see our data of 20 is in our root, our left is 10, and then the left of 10 is a node. Now this right here where it just says node is that within our console, it's not gonna be able to log out everything. Now, you can make a traverse method using some recursive stuff to be able to actually view your entire list and I'll, or your entire tree, and I'll actually do that in the next video. But for this one, we just know that the node went there, so it's cool. So now let's put a node right here on the right. So it, ha it will have to be higher than 30, so let's just go to 40. So we'll go bst.insert, and let's insert 40 right here. And you should be able to see it on the right right here. Okay, so yeah, so you can see right right here. So that's the insert method of the binary search tree, which is you know a little bit confusing. The main takeaways from it is this while true loop on line 21. And the way that you break out of that is you return this whenever a condition is met, and that will break out of this loop. And that's good for not knowing how far you're gonna you're gonna traverse through the tree. It's a good way to actually be able to traverse to the end of it. Um, so watch it a couple times, figure it out. 
The next one that we're going to go over in the next video, we're going to do our lookup, and then after that, we'll do our remove. And I'll actually build out the uh, traversal method so, or function. It won't be a method of the class. It'll just be a function that stands alone um, to where we can actually view the tree within our console. Um, we'll do all that in the next video. But um, this is uh, this is good stuff. So I hope you hope you're enjoying it. Stick around for the next videos. Thanks a lot.